Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we're gonna learn about the full bridge converter topology design in LT Spice. We will understand how full bridge converter works and how will you design full bridge converter for any specific requirement in LT Spice. And then later I'll run the simulation and I'll show you the different waveforms for full bridge converter what is the primary voltage across the transformer what is the drain to source voltage and how you can generate complementary gate driver signal to drive all the four mosfet right we are going to understand all these things so our design requirement is we want to design a full bridge converter which can deliver 2000 watt power which can deliver 2 kilowatt power okay so our input is 400 volt dc right so it's a 400 volt maybe i can write here 400 volt dc and our output is 48 volt dc and load current is 42 ampere so so i have designed this circuit to meet this requirement okay so friends if you are new to this channel please like share and subscribe this channel and if you want to learn this kind of simulation to me if you want to learn the hardware design directly from me you can join the channel mentorship program wherein i'll offer you these trainings virtually okay so link link is given in the description for mentorship program okay so let us now first understand how full bridge converter works right so you can see here let me explain the circuit and then i'll explain the different operations for full bridge converter right and then later i'll run the simulation so let us first start with this is your input voltage okay this is your 400 voltage your input voltage and here i have connected one electrolytic capacitor and this is the four mosfet which are used to design the full bridge converter okay so you can see here this the source of m1 is connected to the transformer primary and the drain of m4 is connected to other end of transformer primary so you can see that is how the transformer primary is connected okay so you can see this vp1 i have given the net name here and vp2 i have given the net name here and now you can see we have four gate driver signal vg1 vg2 vg3 and vg4 so these signals are uh, these signals are complementary that means the signal for vg1 and vg4 are same and the signals for vg2 and vg3 are same i'll run the simulation i'll show you how will you design these signals in order to drive the four mosfet for full bridge converter okay now you can see this is the secondary side of full bridge converter and since i model this transformer by using by using the inductor so i have added coupling factor here so maybe you can add coupling factor k between l4 to this is your l4 and this is l7 to l8 l4 l7 l8 and for the practical case you may write the coupling factor which could be 0.99 in spite of writing one directly okay so now at this side you connected i have connected one more diode this diode is d6 and this side we have one more diode okay so d1 and d6 are the rectified diode and at this point at center tip you can see we are taking the output this is the again low pass filter l9 and c4 is again low pass filter and this is the load 1.14 in order to get in order to deliver the 40 amps of current so this is the low and let us understand how you will you design the complementary gate driver signal <coughs> okay so this is l5 okay so l5 is source 5 and you can see here this is connected between vg1 and vp1 
so this is connected between vg1 and vp1 since this is a this is the high side driver again is l6 this is connected between vg2 and ground again this is l1 this is connected between vg4 and ground this mosfet and ground and this is connected between vg3 and vp2 so this is again vg vg3 and vp2 so this are basically again the high side driver for mosfet m3 so m1 and m3 are high side mosfet and m2 and m4 are low side mosfet okay so the signal for m1 and m4 driving signal for m1 and m4 are same and the driving signal for m2 and m3 are same okay i'll run the simulation and i'll show you how you can how you can how the signals looks like okay meantime i'll show you here this is 0 volt 10 volt driving signal rise time fall time 1 nanosecond and you can use this parameter in your design in your alt spice file so that you will get the same waveform what i am generating here and for since you cannot use the duty cycle 0.5 in the full bridge converter the frequency i am driving this full bridge converter is 60 kilohertz and the dead time is 2 microsecond i'll show you these in the simulation waveform what is the dead time here okay let us understand the basic operation of full bridge converter okay so thanks for texas instrument for making such beautiful application note full bridge converter is basically recommended for power rating of 400 watt to 1 kilowatt plus okay even more than 1 kilowatt <clears throat> so you can see here we have four mosfet q1 q2 q3 and q4 and two diode d1 and d2 okay so this is np primary winding of the transformer this is secondary winding of the transformer secondary one and secondary two let us first understand your mosfet q1 and q3 is turned on when you give the high pulse to your mosfet q1 and q3 they both are turned on and once both are turned on you can see the current path starting from this plus it goes to q3 then it goes to primary winding of the transformer then it goes to q1 and it is connected to the ground so this is your primary current path and if you look at the secondary current path in the secondary your diode d1 conducts while your diode d2 is off okay and once your diode d1 conducts this uh, inductor get charged and it deliver power to the load through this capacity check the drain to source voltage vds1 how it looks like for the mosfet and you can also check the primary transformer primary voltage okay here you can see the primary voltage of the transformer let us understand the second operation for full bridge converter this time is called the dead time you can see this zone here so in the dead time you can see your all four mosfet are turned off okay q1 q2 q3 and q4 and you can see you both diode turns on okay and you are that is how it is delivering the power to the load let us understand the third operation where your mosfet q2 and q4 in this case you need to give high pulse to vg2 and vg4 that means vg2 equals to vg4 once you give the high pulse to the mosfet q2 and q4 can start from plus goes to q2 then goes here at this node and it goes to like that and transformer primary and it goes here and now through q4 it connects to ground in this case your diode d2 conducts and your diode d1 is turned off and your l1 and c delivers power to the load okay now let us understand the fourth case the fourth case is also a case called dead time zone okay in this case again your mosfet all four mosfet is turned off right and again your diode d1 and d2 conducts and they deliver the power to the load okay so hope guys you have understood the basic operation of full bridge converter how this works okay how two mosfet conduct first how again then next two mosfet conduct let us understand the simulation of full bridge converter let me run the simulation and show you the different waveforms okay so you can see here guys 
this circuit i haven't built i'm making this video for education purpose this has not been tested in the production okay so while you design your full bridge converter you have to ensure your components ratings are well designed you need to understand the thermal dissipation you need to understand the tolerances of the components okay right so now let me run the simulation to run the simulation you go have to go this simulate button edit simulation command and for i'm running for transient and the start time is 10 millisecond okay so click on okay just go at this run button click run button maybe trial window vertically okay so what i'm gonna do is <clears throat> let me first show you the waveform so let me show you waveform here so this is your mosfet m1 here in our case and here you see m1 and m4 conducts together okay so if you look at this right you can see guys okay so you you can see here you both the the pulse for your both mosfet m1 and m4 looks like a very same okay you can see this when m1 is high the gate pulse for m1 is high you can see vg4 is also high what i can do is i can overlap this for you okay so you can see here in this vg1 vp1 and you can see here vg4 so you can see both are in the same phase same amplitude right and same polarity now let me run the waveform for here for you like vg3 here this is the vg3 and this is vg2 this is vg2 guys and here you can see vg3 okay so now you can see your gate pulse for mosfet m1 and your mosfet m4 are same you can see here this green is the gate pulse for your mosfet m1 and m4 and you can see this red one the gate pulse for mosfet m3 and m2 is same so guys you need to understand step by step here right now what i'm showing you here is i'm showing you the gate pulse for the mosfet okay so the mosfet m1 and m4 have the same gate pulse and the mosfet m3 and m2 have the same gate pulse you can see this you can see by you can see by using these waveforms now what i'm gonna do is i delete this trace and I also delete this trace. Maybe I delete this plot pane and delete this plot pane, delete this pane. Okay. What I'm going to show you now, this is your gate pulse for M1 and M4. Let me delete this also to avoid any confusion. Let me overlap here. Now, what I'm showing you here is the gate pulse for your MOSFET V4 m4 and the gate pulse for m2 okay so you can see here your mosfet gate pulse for m4 and m2 are the same amplitude but in opposite polarity you can see here your when your green is high your blue is low and when your blue is high your green is low and one more thing you need to understand here is there is a some time difference with there is a time delay between green and blue why guys this time delay is called dead time so i have created dead time between between complementary gate pulses because if you don't have any dead time that means if your mosfet let's say m1 and m2 m1 and m2 turned on at the same time you will have disastrous okay so we don't want to do this let me show you the drain to source voltage of mosfet m4 so let me click on here right so it's working wow how it is running you cannot imagine guys the simulation is running a bit slow because of the inductance value of the inductor okay so but you can see here start from zero and it has some value around 390 or 400 okay let me zoom it so that you can see the proper waveform okay so let me show you the drain to source voltage in the texas document so you can see here the drain to source voltage vds1 how they have shown start from zero then it goes to v in by two 
that means in our case 200 volt then again we have some dead time again those up to v in okay so let me show you here still let us understand you can see it start closely from the zero volt here then it goes to v in y2 that means it should be around 200 it's exact 200 guys you can see here then we have some dead time this is called dead time here and again it rose up to 400 guys you can see that is how they have defined the drain to source voltage let us first understand now the primary voltage across this <coughs> transformer so you can see start from zero and it start from v in then it goes to zero then dead time then it goes to minus v in and again then it goes to zero let us <coughs> look have a look of this primary voltage okay <coughs> so hope i am clear guys until now so you can see he start from zero and it goes to v in that is close to 400 then we have here some dead time you can see and then again it goes to minus v in and then again goes to zero then dead time that is the same thing we are we can see here about the primary voltage across our transformer okay now let me show you the secondary voltage in order to see the secondary voltage let us connect our cursor here okay so now you can see your secondary voltage your secondary voltage follow the same phase of your primary voltage you can see here guys it has the same phase in the primary voltage but it has got the reduced amplitude that depends on the duty cycle and the turns ratio okay this is your secondary voltage now let me show you the voltage across this other winding how it looks like so you can see it is also following the the primary voltage here now let me show you the current across this d6 <coughs> so you can see the current across d6 42 amps peak and you can see start from 0 to 42 amp peaks and in between we have some dead time like that now let me show you the current across this inductor this is also important and if you want to check the current across this inductor let me delete the current across diode how i can delete click on here delete this trace <coughs> let me run the simulation again so i i, I just want to check the current across this inductor okay so that is how it looks like okay so it's around the transient current you can see it's very high starting 53 now it has settled down to 42 and let me show you zoom it for you and let me show you how the inductor current looks like it has got some ripple right it has got some ripple and then finally let me show you the output voltage and output current and output power the three i like three plot pane here this plot pane for output voltage this is for output current and this is for output power okay so not sure what happened now let me delete again run the simulation again add three plot pane add one add two this is for v out this is for i out and this is for power okay so mingo so guys you can see here you have now the output power output current and output voltage so let me check the output voltage here steady state output voltage it's around 48 volt you can see clearly see guys you can see my cursor here somewhere you can see here 48 volt output current you can see here 42 41.94 amps and you can see the power output power it is 2 thousand watt or two kilowatt so guys that is how you can design a full bridge converter in lt spice you can also understand the basic operation of full bridge converter how you can design a very high output power by using full bridge converter full bridge topology how you can use select the different components to simulate in lt spice if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video